passed out on my Pelican 120 and by you came so come along with me see how this baby goes and I'm going to do a canteen cook so come on join me so get your horse right here head off there's the here's the pelican the pelican 120 All right, I'm ready to be in uh, at Cane's Bayou in Louisiana. So we're going to catch a cork real quick. We see a cork. I should do this more in doing winter season, so it'd be cooler for me. This, this heat. Hey, look at that. That's the uh, trace of the St. Tammany. I'm not going to talk too much in this video. I want you to enjoy the view, okay? Okay. Came by you goes to the Lake Putch Train.
If I'm not mistaken, we're coming across uh, Justin Wilson's uh, mansion. Justin Wilson used to be on Channel 12 as a cooking show and also a comedy, uh, a com uh, comedy guy. Tells jokes, good jokes, family or er, er, family related. And I think that's his house over there. If you take that, there to see it through the leaves. There. I thought this by you would be more shady, but I was wrong. You can say, believe it or not, this is my first time down this bayou in a boat. No, but I didn't come out here to fish. I came out here to enjoy a nice boat ride. So I, I brought you along so you can enjoy it too. I'm going to take off my life jacket because it is hot out here. I do have my life jacket. I can grab it because it's floating. I was talking about, uh, let's talk about if you're in a motorboat, you should wear a life jacket until you get to your destination. Then when you put your trolling motor on, you should be able to take your life jacket off. You don't have to wear it. But if you're in that motorboat and you're going 20, 50 miles an hour and you fall off, your chances of survival is like 50%, 50, 50, 50%, you might lose your life. If you have a stroke, you could also die. No one could retrieve your body if you were a bunch of people. There were two people in Lacombe, Louisiana that died like that because they didn't want to wear a damn seatbelt. They fell in boat motor tore them up and later on they find their body floating after three days because it takes about three days for the body to float 
all the gases in your body. But if they were wearing their life jackets, they would have found the body earlier and probably saved you. Saved those two guys that drowned. One had a stroke and fell in the water. The other one was just playing stupid on a boat and fell in and drowned because the boat knocked them out. There was like three people. Another person putting his feet in the water and the waves caught him and he went underneath the boat and got knocked out. So you don't want to, you don't want to uh, not wear a life jacket when you're going 50 miles on the boat or how fast your boat motor might go. Oh, Justin Wilson. Yeah, doggy, you sure? That's one tablespoon of sugar. See, one tablespoon. This is a workout, I tell you that. I'm not used to doing this, so I'm taking it easy. Nice fishing area, I tell you that. I can put a bunch of cork lines in this area. Bunch of turtles. Seen no gators yet, but I've seen plenty of fish and turtle. Damn turtle. Now I can make a couple of drop lines right here. Go back and forth and pick them up. Oh hey, shit. There's a log going across this thing. But I'll be able to make it. <laughs> Like I'll be able to make it. There's another boat cruise. They're out right here. Out right here having fun too. I think this fella gives a boat cruise and a tour of the Bayou Cane. Hardy, hardy. What's up? What's up? Don't crash into the log. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, the wind's killing me now. Look a straggler, he's dragging ass. He got that weird Chinese disease.
He's on the fern. You must have that weird Chinese disease. Dragon ass. <laughs> well, it was Justin Wilson look alike. If I get past this wind, I should be all right. I might take a little break. Cause I'm not used to doing this stuff with the blur arms. I'm used to rolling. That's nothing. Doing this, a little different. Looks like we're getting to Lake Punch Train. Lake Punch Train's around the corner, it looks like. Feels like I've been paddling not not like that long. Started the video when I got into the water. All right, we'll see if we can park right here for a few seconds. We're looking for Blue State Park Trail. Should be on this side somewhere. There's a park, a little bench we can stop and make our cook video. But I want to go, go to the lake and I want to come back and find that bench. Then we're going to do a little cooking show. Look like a garfish or something. I missed it because I pushed the wrong button. Damn you, boy! I wish there was a, a little button on here saying you can't turn it off unless you touch 10 other buttons at the same time. Oh, look at him. He's jumping in the water. I hope he's jumping my boat. Jumping my boat, Mr. Fishy! In the game where it had to display and how the fish got in my boat. I did the fish get in your boat. Oh, he jumped in and you want to commit suicide. I don't believe you. Where's your fishing pole? I don't have a fishing pole. The cameras don't lie. Didn't find out the camera didn't wasn't recording it. What the hell is that? Is that a skark? A duckling? We gotta get closer. It's it's a skark. It's gonna eat my boat. See it? What is that thing? Oh, mama, don't hurt me, mama, mama, don't hurt me. It might be a cart, a corpus, a dead fish monster. What is that, a duck? Ah, 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 ah. It's an old tree, it looks like an old tree, it fell in. We're going to find out, we're going to get close, we're going to eat it. If I can paddle fast enough to get to it, it's a tree. I'm sweating bullets over a stomp. I thought it was a sea monster. It's a stomp. <laughs> I'm scared of sea monsters. That's why I don't go swimming unless I can see the bottom. I barely go swimming in swimming pools because I can't see the bottom. Pelican 120, catch 120 down King Bayou to the Lake Pudgy Train.
I hear the sea. It took more than two minutes. That was recorded. Holy crap, you saw that? You saw that roll over? Holy moly! That was a sea monster! I'm scared! Damn, he's right there too. That was a fish from Mars, man! I hope I caught that. That was a big rollover I'd ever seen. Well, besides the one me and Grumpy saw. I wish I had my camera. Oh, God, that was a big rollover. I had to put a, 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 a hook sizes uh, of a foot though, to catch that damn thing, whatever it was. That was a pike. <laughs> Smaller than a poor fish or something. Bobber fish, whatever you call it. He's like sucking up air or something, like they're dying of air. I'll put some bubbles in here for you. All right, I need to get this thing out of my pocket. It's cooking me. This is supposed to be for my canteen cook day. Pink salmon. Hope there's some shade because I need some shade real quick. I should bring an umbrella. An umbrella will help me, but they'll probably blow me kingdom come. But temporary relief will be good. Uh, come on, I want to get to the lake. I want to get back home. Ah, yes! Yes! We're there! We're there! Oh, oh, oh we, we can't hurry! I gotta hurry up and get there! Oh, we're to the lake pushing train! I'm glad you came along, my friends! We made it to Lake Pushing Train! And the wind is kicking our ass! Should I get on the other side? I don't know. I hear a sea monster. We made it. We made it to the lake. Oh, 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 oh. There's one hell of a paddle, too, to get to that lake. I see white caps. That's bad. White caps are bad. If I can see white caps this far, you're not looking. <sighs> So we find, I uh, know I definitely passed that bench up that I wanted to go do a cooking video. Let's go to the lake and get capsized. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. I can't see what that says, but it says post it. I always put post-it signs on trees. Because <laughs> you know why? Because that's where the land is. 
They know you're gonna go on that sucker and have fun, play hooky or something. My everybody loves the hooky line. Hoka 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 line. Everybody loves the hooky line. Ha 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 Ooh, it's getting worse. All right, this is it. If you can't see a well, there's the light punch train. Go on. Like punch train, and the wind's gonna take me where I need to go. Look, you can see New Orleans right there. Listen to the wind if you can. <sighs> now I can relax and let the wind take me off. As long as they don't capsize me, I'm, I'm all right. And when was this getting too hard for me? I got to turn around. I got to go back. Civilization. Where I can pick berries. Mm. Yesterday I was really thirsty for some reason. I kept waking up to drink. See that tree? That tells you that ground is really suitable for some type of camp or... You can camp over there with no problem because the earth is very heavy duty. If they can hold that, that big pond, remember the pond roots is as much as the roots as the tree going up. an oak tree it's something else black oak black oak I could be wrong it's been a while since I did trees when I used to be in a survey we had to name trees and you know what that is Can't, yeah, it has to be a live oak but live oaks don't like water why are you doing here Should I take advantage of the wind? Just blow it? No? Alright, let's, let's let the wind do its gerb. Gerb. I got a gerb, he's the wind says. So. What does the fox say? See if I can find some shade. I should look back to that tree over there. Ouch. Oh, it's mole crickets. Marsh gas. Got it. <laughs> Marsh gas. Ooh, it smells like it too. Alright, we need to find some shade. Eat cooking out here. Oh, oh. Today on Bayou Kane found the body of the Ranger Kuki. Crisp, burnt to a singe, dehydrated. They thought they had beef turkey on a boat. Ouch! Ow! 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 That stuff hurts! <laughs> then it tickles your nose. You know what? You want to be my friend? I'll tickle your nose. You, you be my friend. I fart and tickle your nose. You be my friend forever and ever. Damn. That's right there. Well, 
we went to the lake. I hope you enjoy that little boat ride to the lake. And come along with me. Even though I packed a lot of stuff, I didn't need a lot of stuff. <laughs> Probably why I weighed my boat down. I'm sinking. Whoa, fish jumping water, but not in boat or on hook. I wish I can catch a fish. The wind's keeping me cool. Oh, look, is that thing again? I'm sweating bullets. I'm almost ready to eat me. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's like stomp. <laughs> I thought it was the sea monster coming to get me a scarp. Damn scarps. Yeah, when I was a kid, I was scared of sharks because I saw the shark movie, Jaws. That freaking turned the hell out of me. And guess what? One of the actors is named Sean. Coincidence? <sighs> I don't care about a clown. I don't mind. I'm not scared of a clown. I'm scared of a shark or a sea monster in the bottom of the, 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 the water. You can't see to the bottom. It might be a ski monster. It might eat me or something. Definitely need some shade. I hope there's some shade around the corner. Look, there's a bird on the co on that nest. Where is it? Are you Shady area. It's just right there. Talk about going up there, but gators might get me. Snakes too. So we 
Okay, going back to uh, our uh, our car, or camp, or home, whatever you want to call it. I know one thing, a good pair of gloves will help. Look, it's their sucky fish again. Let's see if I can go fast and roll over them. Okay. Something to the ground. I don't know what they were eating or look at them. Makes me wonder what kind of fish they are. Off my paddle, seaweed monster. I wonder if we can catch him. That's a weird sound. Oh shit. <laughs> That's a scary feeling too.
I like it, the woman. Yeah, about two more minutes you get to the lotion. My late. <laughs> Look, it's the bubble fish again. Look, there's more yakers. How you doing? Oh no, I'm gonna crash, don't wanna crash. I got I got I got no insurance on this thing. Up, it's time for another break in the shade. I'm going on hill. All right, see you in a few seconds. I'm taking a break in the shade. And if I don't get bitten by a sea serpent. Stick this in the ground and see you in a few minutes. Yeah, I just want to show you what the sun does to my arms. Hey, let me make sure it's on. Yep. Okay, this is what it does to my arms. Look at the little red spots. Uh, all kinds of red spots. I get really sweaty. Try to cool my, my body. Try to cool itself down. But you see all those little red spots. All right. See you in the next part. All right, we're back on our trail. Water trail, that is.
I'm already taking a little break. Like that. <laughs> All right, see you in a few minutes. Sounds like a frog being eaten by a snake over here. that sound as a frog being eaten by a snake That sound right there, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's a frog being eaten by a snake. Let's see if we can see it. I don't hear it no more. Not a poisonous snake. That's why I'm going in it. It's a uh, probably. A yeah, if a snake caught a frog in here, and he and a little frog is chirping his ass off. But somebody to come help him. He's ready to be eaten alive. Poor Mr. Froggy. 
This very be swallowed whole. It's time to let the snake have his breakfast. All right, where y'all two come from? I was all the way to the lake. We were on the lake to the left. Oh, uh, yeah, we were yeah. probably a hundred yards to the left. There was a little beach right there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice out, man. Yo, yes, I'm enjoying my day, even though I'm allergic to the sun. <laughs> so is she. Yeah. <laughs> Not really, but darn near. <laughs>
I wonder if that bench I've been looking for is down this bayou part. So we're gonna take a little ride down it and see if we can find that damn bench. If this the log don't take me out first. Mm, looks like a big gator, big swamp monster. I bet you the water is really shallow here. Oh shit, I gotta hit a lurk. Something ahead of us. Must be a duck. Yeah, it's on top of the water. It's a big sea monster. A shark. A gator. Oh, damn, that is big. Whatever it is, let's catch up to it. We gotta find out. We, we got a mystery. That looked like a baby gator. Holy moly. Beat this saw a gator. That's what that was, a gator. Baby gator. If you got a baby gator, that means they got a mama gator. I'm getting scared now. Dive right there. So he could pop up any minute to eat me. Put your hands in, your legs in. <laughs> And pray that the gator don't come get me. Uh, I don't like this log thing. Gator, take me to his cave underneath the seaweed. And let me rot in for a day or two. Come eat me. Nice little island right here. Got nice islands on both sides. I can go on the shore on that side if I wanted to. But I'm looking for a bench. There's a trail from Fountain Blue State Park uh, rental rental. Uh, you rent the little place. And you walk down this trail. And they got like a little bayou. Hmm. Both sides are pretty nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, fuck, what the hell was that? feel like a touched a gator. <laughs> Look at that right there. Looks like a, uh, a gator swamp. Holy crap! I don't like that at all. <laughs> I freaking. <laughs> I go change my pants now. That was scary. A big old fish rolled right in front of me. Thought it was a gator. I'm gonna eat me.
another one. I was waiting for that one, so. <laughs> Couple rollovers and gators. That was a big gator. Well, four foot maybe. Well, there's the mansion for uh, Justin Wilson. Finally talked to him. There's the bayou down there so he could fish. We own this big high land area. I think this used to be a dumps, dumpster area. But this is a nice site. I love to take over, but I think that curse will come upon me. If a, if a man died over here, and the code that's what happened to the first guy because you watched the video and this guy i don't know what happened to him but his camp is burnt and surprised me it didn't burn the forest out all right i'm ranger cookie i'm gonna do second part of this it won't be so long it's sorry long enough plus the other video so i'll see y'all next video of me taking this trail over here and see where it goes all right see y'all in a few seconds at least i didn't say worse sir I said worse. We need to go more towards that sun. I smell people. Yes, I smell people too. Look, what is that? What is that? What is that? There's like gutters for a big ass building. Yeah, it's gutters. Okay, we had Toys R Us. Now all I want to do is walk down this area to see if anybody's camping in this location. If I remember right, I found a campsite out here. I didn't disturb it or anything. I left it. And about four months later, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, campsite was gone. I don't know if a police officer told this person to leave or they picked up and left. Everything a homeless person has, they're going to keep and use. They don't leave nothing unless they're running. <laughs> I just hope I can jump this when I get out here. I'm going to take, I'm going to go ahead and go out. See if I could jump this ditch without killing myself and destroy my camera. He didn't see me. He must be wearing camouflage. All right, your marks get set. Hey, I got a little wet and muddy. Uh, there's Toys R Us and all the other stores. In this location, it's been about four years ago or five, six years ago when I found that tent. All right, well, I'll see you in a few seconds. Yeah, full with this thing in water. <laughs> uh, dropping it in water. That's why I, I grabbed the, the chest harness so it won't be uh fall in if i had a head harness so the chances of a head harness fall in faster than a chest harness is uh, very very high so i choose the chest harness and it's also stable can't see me that's the bad thing oh that guy was dragon ass he had that weird disease that chinese disease dragon ass 
Yeah, it's getting hot for me. I'm not used to this type of weather either. I, I'm, I like the cold weather. I like to be in the shade. I'm kind of like allergic to the sun. Except for my arms and my post-it. What, what the hell, man? I wanted to do a cooking show on a freaking... Oh, you... It's post-it. I don't... I don't know why. Why is post-it? I know why. You keep people like me making cooking videos. They're supposed to be an old, um, um, an old, uh, there is a bayou. Ah, shit. Uh, there's a, uh, another park over here. It goes to another park. I try to get out the sun, not in the sun. Let's see, where's my, my brakes here? Yeah, there's a, supposed to be a little canal um, going inward into the other park. I didn't see it yet. So it makes me wonder. Uh -oh. I don't think I'll be able to grab any branches. Let's see if I can clip my uh my uh, my uh, my little clippy thing here. Take a little break from the heat. This is working. It's not unclipping. Yeah, the sun is really kicking my butt. Look, fish jump on water, but not in boat. I'm gonna put my hat back on because it's sunny out right here. I think that's it right there. There's a little sluice somewhere. Not bet you that's it's gonna be around this area. Goes to another park. Look at the little species. Never put your hand in water because you never know a gator can be right there. Can come out and snap on you like a crocodile in heat. Oh shit, my boat's taking on water. Oh, 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 oh put the plug back in. Let this hold steady to it. I should not move. I'm taking a break from that sun. I thought this bayou would be a little bit more shady, but I was wrong. I was wrong. I bet you my calculations, that other park is right over there. Alright, the wind's blowing in my favor. I'm going to take that advantage. We're going to the lake. We're going to catch some scout, scout fish. Some scout fish. And we're going to cook some scout fish. Salty fish. Eat the salt. You have to put salt on the fish that comes out the sea or the lake. I bet you there's a shark in here. A bunch of sharks. Gonna eat my boat. Back in, what, 1965? Maybe even further? Yeah. Uh, they had 
a case of a shark coming down to buy you and eating two children. Ain't that nice of the shark? He ate two children. And they saw another shark down the, the bayou. I'm scared of sea monsters. I don't know what's lurking underneath the water. It looks like the lake's right there, but it's probably pretty far away. In hopes and oh yeah, right there, shit, it's probably a hundred miles out. <laughs> you scart, scarts. They got too many scarts in the bayou. You look a ski turtle. Yeah, huh? I scared you with a. A ski turtle got scared with a pss, pss, pss. See, if I'm almost to the lake, that bench is pff, gone. <laughs> or I couldn't find it. Or I took the wrong path. I'm gonna go down the other bayou if this if I can't find that bench. I won't make a cooking video. I can't make a cooking video in the middle of the boat. I'll burn my boat. I'll slink. And your skunks and the scrimps will eat me. In the crabs. It's like when that plane crashed in the lake boat in the, <laughs> I don't know what year, 19 something. And the crabs ate the, the humans that had hairs in, in the crabs and had to purge the crabs and had hair and all kinds of stuff in the crabs. That tasted good. Crab meat with humans in it. <laughs> One thing about this bayou, you don't have to worry about big boat motors. Oh shit, here comes a wind torture! No, 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 don't do that to me! No, 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 damn you, boy! No, I don't want to go into sea white seaweed monster area. Yeah, now the wind's blowing in my favor. Blew my hat off. I'm glad I tied it down around my neck. Oh, I lost my, oh, I would lost my hat already. If I put my camera there, I definitely lost that. That's why I choose the, the chest harness. So I won't lose my camera. The only way I fall in if a skark or some scrimp or 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 uh, alligator knocks me down. Excuse me. The wind's in my favor. I'm taking the wind. Let's glide myself and I'll go fast. Taking a boat trip up by you cane. I'm gonna be burnt by tonight. Oh, Dawala. Let the great biscuit monster bowl for me. If I'm not mistaken, there should be the uh, Fountain Blue State Park Trail. And this type of location. <sighs> Protecting your son from the sun. Protecting yourself from the sun is a good thing. Wear a nice big hat. And my dumbass came out here at one o'clock. <laughs> And I thought this this bayou would be more shady. Look, some more dragon ass people.
Maybe there's some more canoers. Got a GPS, where is it? Oh, way in the back. And it probably won't tell me where anything is anyway. Oh, look at that. What is that? What is that? in the surface. They had them. It's cute. We get to tell somebody they're dragging ass again. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Another day in paradise. Yes, oh, I'm going into seaweed. <laughs> How y'all doing? How you doing? Look, that one got the Chinese disease. Drag it ass. He's way back there. I feel sorry for him. He got that weird Chinese disease. Don't have it, don't get it. It's dragon ass. I smell suntan lotion. I'm allergic to suntan lotion. I forgot about that. I turned red when I put that on. The first one's not helping. How far is the lake? Not that far. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You must have that weird Chinese disease. Yeah. Dragon ass. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Enjoy your day, my friend. Enjoy the day. Look, there's another man who got dragon, dragon ass disease. You should see their faces. They were puzzled, boy. We got what? A Chinese disease? What's what's that? Then you say dragon ass. They laugh. Oh. Well, let's see. We took a break for what, ten minutes, maybe. You must have a weird Chinese disease. Dragon ass. 
You way back behind, you way behind, you need to catch up. Now, nah, enjoy your day. <laughs> Having fun with folks. They probably think I'm a crazy guy. Must take it up a notch. Boy, that wind's gonna be hell around that corner. <laughs> Look at me. Oh, I'm going in to see my seaweed monsters. I'm getting wet over here for some reason. That's a nice big tree. Look how big that tree is. Oh. There's two trees put together. I'm a re re. Did look like a monster big tree here. <laughs> Ooh, going against the wind is a bitch. That damn <laughs> My hat. Crocodiles are out here. Them old crocs. I think I'm wearing a pair. No, that's not crocs, dumbass. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> More feces jumping in the water, but not in boat. Wall hook. Throw my cast net. Catch the little bastards wherever they are. The plane, the plane burst, the plane. Boy, it's been a long time since I went fishing. Damn, I hear. Fish is hitting the boat. <laughs> Poor fish, he's hitting the boat. I wonder if they got aspirins down there. I wonder what fish take for for headaches. If they get a headache, do they take seaweed <laughs> or turtle dung? Oh, it looks like a bunch of fish that went into the bottom. I can't wait to get home and see if I catch that big rollover. That was freaking awesome. Man, got a little bunch of little fishies right here.
I wish Bay Lacombe was like that, especially where my camp is. Let's put a camp on the wildlife fishery uh, reserve. I wonder how long it take them to find out I'm here. Bird in its nest. Like a big eagle. I should bring my other cam and a bigger boat so I can stand up and take a picture. What the hell hit me? One thing, going canoeing, you gotta expect to be in the sun most of the time when you're in a boat. Alright, checking for snakes. I need to park in the shade for a few minutes. Stick your paddle in the mud. Yeah, good. See you in a few seconds. My head, go, no, my ranger hat, my new ranger hat, no. I have to put it tight. There. Ooh. 
See, I like this. The wind is keeping me cool and should not make me burn. But I will eventually burn still with the wind blowing. I should came out here when it was more, more cloudy and lightning storming. I probably have a better chance of not burning. Yep, it's getting really thick in here. If I turn around, I'll probably make it back home in no time. <laughs> Let's get around this bay. Woo. A shark. You got sharks in these water and scrimp. Scrimp and sharks. Oh, that was a big shark. Whatever that was, it's scary. Bet you love bubbles. Bubbles is your friend. Mr. Bubbles. So when you see that big tree, see that big tree right there? That means there's land there. There's something you can get on and survive with. Over here is all squirt. Yeah, squirt will get you. Oh, look at all the wind. Two minutes my ass, like 30 hours. <laughs> Tourists, they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Two minutes, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna how deep it is. Look, it's those things again. These bubbles. I like these double things up here. It got hot. And when's that going? Look up. Look, wait, watch where I'm going. I wonder what's so good with these bubbles. They like to suck them up or something. Everything I bring and I forget the toilet paper. I almost forgot the oils. I have to go turn around and go get the damn things. I'm like, you dumb re re. Why you forgot your oars? Look at that. 